Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In today's video, we'll learn how you can clip any photos to a layer or a text. So we are understanding this uh, technique in a very simple and step-by-step -step process so you can follow along and create your own designs. In the previous video, we have seen how you can clip color adjustment layer to any image. We have used solid color adjustment layer and hue and saturation adjustment layer and created our some amazing design concepts. In this tutorial, we'll learn how you can clip any photo to a layer or a text. And we'll be creating these three designs. We'll first understand the basic how you can clip a photo to a text. Simple, very simple. Then we'll uh, go over here and we'll learn how you can clip a photo to a shape or a layer and create out this nice cover design, something like a poster design. And lastly, we'll create this unique concept. We'll be using photos, text and the shape together combine and create this amazing designs. So let's begin with the designing process. So the first thing we're going to do is to understand the concept. So let's start out from the basic. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create out a artboard. Okay. So we'll select artboard tool and let's create one artboard on top of here. Something like this. Okay. I'll just make it a little big. So here I got a new artboard where I'll be working here. And if I go over here, I'll just, uh, this is our artboard one and uh, we'll select all these group and just hide it. Okay. So we'll be working on this new artboard. So first thing I'm going to create a background. So let's add a, a new layer, right? And fill it up. Let's uh, fill it up with white color, all backspace. Okay. Now let's type out a text. So it's the first steps. Like we'll be clipping a photo to a text. So I'll just type out a text W I L D wild. Okay. And I'll create, uh, just scale up the size and place it around here under with the all press click and drag and create under duplicate F R W free and place it around here. And I'll create one more duplicate with the all press click and drag, select them and E and D and right. And we'll work on the fonts. So let's uh, scale down this size and place it around here. Okay. And let's adjust the fonts. So first thing for this text, we have used the font that is Mirai Pro. Okay. So I'm going to use like it, it can be regular or you can be bold. So we have used bold. And for the second text, let's choose some fonts. I'll go over here. Okay. Character palette and here uncheck this, right? All caps. So it's small and let's choose some fonts, which will be interesting. Okay. So we got a sign painter font and it's nice cursive. I'll just scale it up and place it in between. Okay. And uh, in this one around here and let's select all the three layers okay command t and i'll just scale this up and fill this up something like this okay and enter now our text is ready and the background is there so what i need to do is i need to clip a photo to this text to get this interesting design so let's bring in a photo so i'll go in here this is our previous image uh, so i'll go to the pics i got some pictures over here so i got this nature photo so i'll just bring in and drag it up there very simple and what i can do is i'll select all these three text layer group them up command or control g and just clip them to this text so with the all pressed if you go uh, over here you can see this icon just click and it will be clipped the thing which i have done over here is i have grouped all the text together so that i can uh, apply this clipping mask to all these text if it would have been an individual layer i have to clip individually so i have just made it grouped and applied it and it became very simple and now if i want to adjust it it's very simple i can just move the text and you can see images the image is not affected and here we go and you can add the background just double click on the layer color overlay and choose a color which you would love it like something like this and click OK and here we go. This is the basic like technique to apply or clip a photo to a text. Very simple. Now let's look at how you can clip a photo to a shape or a layer. So in this uh, design we have clipped of image 
to a shape of a human figure and in the tour text and created this nice poster cover design so let's look at how we can create this out so i'm gonna uh, add a new artboard to work on it so i'll just go over here and click on artboard tool okay click and drag and create a new artboard very simple very easy right now the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let's uh create that shape so i'm gonna create this uh, human figure shape from a like image so i got this image over here i'll just open this up in photoshop and what I need is I need only the silhouette of this character. So very simple, very easy. Just uh, use selection tool. So select the layer and go to select color range. And with the color range, with the shift press, click on these uh, outside region. OK and click OK. And there you got a selection. Now apply mask. And with the all pressed, before that, as you can see, uh, we have to reverse the selection. So selecting this thumbnail of the mask and with the Command or Control pressed, click I. Reverse, inverse the selection. Command Control I, Command Control I. So you can inverse the uh, reverse the selection of this image. So I need this character. Now, uh, with the R press, click on this, and you see these empty spaces where uh, there's no selection. So we need to select this. So with the brush tool, paint white to make these selections. So just drag and uh, paint it out. Uh, if you want to deselect something. Press X and you got black color and deselect. So we need to select this region. So with the X pressed, you can bring in a white color and paint white color. And this will make all these selection and there will be no gap in between this. After this, right click and go to smart object. Now, once we have made this into smart object, I'll just select and drag and drop it to our main file and place it over here. Command Control T and let's scale it up and uh, let's scale the size according to our requirements. So, okay, I think this size is fine. Enter. Now, let's bring in our image which you need to clip. So, I'll just uh, select a photo. I got this uh, photo of a city uh, evening view. Just drag and drop it over here. Enter and just clip it. So, go and just clip it to our image. There we go. We got this nice photo which has been clipped to the shape of a human figure. It's looking great. Now we can add a text as well. So I'll just type out a text E D I T A B L E editable. As you can see, these uh, things are editable, easy to edit. So I'll just text, type out a text, change the font color to something black just to see, make it in an angular view and scale it up and place it somewhere around here. As you can see, I have used Arial Black font, which will give you this nice thick. And I'll create one more duplicate of this uh, image photo layer. With the all press, click and drag it on top of the text. And with the all press, uh, clip it. And here we go. So our text is there, our image is there. And as you can see, you can just move around. Or you can just select this image, Command Control T, and move around. So all these are editable, very easy enter in the same way you can just move around the uh, pictures photos which is inside the text as well as you can select the text on control t and just move it around now let's change the background so i'll just add a new layer on the back right all the backspace fill it up and apply color overlay pick some color from here similar to this and just make it brighter and click ok and here we go we got this nice uh, poster design I'll just bring in this text. So just select these text, click and drag and place it around here. And here we go. Now let's look at how we can create out some uh, other design using the same concept. In this last demo, we'll use the same technique and create this nice cover design. It's very interesting. Let's look at how we can create this. So first thing, let's add a new artboard. So I'll just select the artboard tool, just make one artboard for this design and create on the artboard beside it something like this okay now i'll just bring in the image so i'll go here select the image and drag it up over here and place it in the artboard and i'll just scale this up and fill this area enter uh, you can increase the artboard size a little bit just to make sure it's filled up right and here we go now i'll just add a new shape on top of this image so here is our layer okay now we need to create a shape white shape so i select the rectangular selection and from the center 
I'll just draw out one rectangle from here, something like that, okay? And add a new layer, alt backspace, fill it up with white color, something like that, command D. So here we go. Now we will add a new text. So I'll just type out text, command control T, scale up the size. The font we have used over here is, let's see, command control T. And let's choose a font which is similar to our design. Go to condense and bold. Okay, this looks great. So we got this font which is having the next condensed bold. So we got this thick, nice bold. Uh, now I'll create a duplicate with the opress, click and drag it and drag it down. Type out all. Scale up the size, adjust the size according to our design, something like this. We'll bring in one more. U and I. Mark control T, scale it down a little bit, and one more, Q, U, E, that's all. So we got all the text, just align them properly, something like this, and select all these, group them up, okay, so we got this text here, and what I'll do is I'll just create a duplicate of this image, create a duplicate, and bring it on top of the group of the text, now just clip it to the Chris group, and we got this nice text effect. The techniques is very simple, very simplified, very easy. And with this technique, uh, you can create number of designs, which can be either simple text, or you can include some interesting design, like uh, using a human figure or a tree or an object and clip that photo to it. And lastly, this one, where we have this image, where we have added a shape, white background, type out a text and we have clipped the photo and we got this interesting look. So this is how you can use the technique for clipping a photo to any text or a layer. In the next coming up tutorials, we'll be learning more techniques about clippings. So don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.